it's finally time for us to get in bed with Seer. Or at least it's looking like it's going that direction. <laughs> Knowing a show like this, we're just going to get teased and nothing actually is going to probably happen. But Seer is like getting really ready for it. She's having the time of her life. You know, it's it's feeling like one of those... Um, it, to me, it feels like... She's kind of like Cinderella right now in a sense, where this is like her one night to just pop off and party hard because, you know, then she can't just like, you know, live like this anymore. It's her one night to be kind of selfish and, you know, behave in ways that we've never seen her really behave. And it's kind of cute, selfish, especially in the way that how she says, I want a hero for all myself. A specific word called ODR and the way they pronounce it is all over the place, but that was also mentioned. I think it was supposed to be like a personal hero, but maybe there's like a deeper meaning to it. The Heroes Bridge, Albert got mentioned, Black Dragon, you know, all that endgame lore that's going to relate to ISM Dell probably throughout the end of the story. But right now, we got to focus on Seer. What's Freya doing? Is Freya still just chilling at like the festival at the top of her like, you know, fucking stand thing, right? I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Skip the opening? No opening today? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are. It's a power play. <laughs> just peeking out the blinds, front facing. <laughs> what you thinking? God, he is such a fucking beta cuck loser. I am literally just giving him everything right now, and he's just such a. <laughs> I don't know. That look, though, that's kind of interesting. All right, Bell. Oil up. Oil up, Bell. Things are not normal between us. No, no, no. We're sharing. <laughs> you hear the voice acting there? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. His voice acting like changed as soon as he saw the leg. Come <laughs> Alright. It's the necklace thing. The pendant thing. The hero tale. God and girl. Ooh. God and girl. What exactly is Seer? She says, breaking my... The shacklehood of my goddesshood or some shit. It seems like Seer definitely is some sort of goddess. But why is she associated with Freya family? That's the thing, the missing link, I, I don't understand. Who's sharing the bed? Or we're both sleeping on the floor? Because I got a woman I love. Ice. <laughs> Hestia is always going to be mad. Die from the guilt? Gaslighting us? Bell, <laughs> just take a seat, bro. Not on the cuck chair. On the bed. Okay, good. Get closer. You're so far away. To what? What do you want? <laughs> Them grippers are bare. Because she been thirsting after you for like how many seasons? Prove your feeling? Oh, she pouncing on the rabbit. She actually pinned him down. Yeah, it's real. Tell me, bitch. I mean, this is lust. You don't know anything about Bell. I like, 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 what does Seer really know about Bell? Have we spent that much time together? Like, she's just down bad because he's cute. That's it. It's lust at first sight. Love at first sight does not exist. You don't even know the person. But, like, her feelings, she doesn't understand. She wants to know these impulses. Do I really like you? <laughs> Any other show? <laughs> Any other show? He would have grabbed her titties by saying, Stop it! <laughs> and then he'd be like, Oh? And then a stupid harem etchy moment would have happened, rather than grabbing the shoulders. Ooh. Powers! What the fuck is happening? But like, this feels wrong, Seer. He can't just accept your feelings like that. It needs to be genuine and authentic. You're forcing this on him. What's these eyes? Hypnotism? Are you serious? This is... This is kind of fucked up. This is actually fucked up. I don't side with Seer here. This is out of hand. Imagine if the roles were reversed. 
Just think about that for a second. How crazy this would be going. Hmm. Not impacted? Damn, it didn't even impact Bell? Because his eyes were never... I don't know. No, no, his eyes were kind of glowing there. What happened? Still glow... No, I turned off when Bell said it. What's gotten into you? What's gotten into her? Is it just because today's a special day and so much has already happened? It's just heat of the moment? Something is really odd about Seer. Like, something is very off. Beyond Bell resisting and, like, not giving in to Seer's feelings, it doesn't even feel like this is Seer. Yeah, and um, there was the other thing, right? Remember in Season 2? Where... Fuck. Uh, what was her name? Not, not, not Aphrodite. Not Apollo. It's the fucking... The girl, right? The girl tried to seduce Belle. But then Belle was not seduced. Ishtar, yeah. Why is she Ishtar of all things? I don't even think... When I think Ishtar, I'm thinking of fucking Tosaka Rin face because of fate. But like, yeah. When Ishtar tried to seduce Belle, it never works. So this is a similar thing. This is the most awkward night. <laughs> Not only that, she took all the pillow. The fuck? Bell doesn't get any pillow? He has to sleep by the edge of the fucking bed? Look at this. She has pretty much like 80% of the bed herself and the pillow. Bell is has like 20% of the fucking bed. This is messed up. Take my blankets too, will ya? I mean, you're wilding out tonight, sir. Something is off about you. Yeah. Mm, he likes ice. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was for survival. That's different. <laughs> that was literally for survival. Trying to transfer body heat or we would have died, okay? This is different. Oh, she bluffed and got that out of us. No, 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 no. You are not naughty. I love how in this world, every girl just thirsts for Belle and be like, come on, Belle, violate me. Do naughty things to me. Belle, do it. And Belle's like, no, no. Actually, where's that meme? Where is this one meme? Simpsons. Yeah, this one. Where is this? <laughs> this is this is, this is not this is a, this is a censored version, but this will do. But basically, this show is basically this. Bell is this guy, and every character in this show is constantly, "Come on, Bell, come on, Bell," and Bell's like, "No, please leave me alone." And all the girls are like, "No, nah, Bell, come on, give it to me." <laughs> What does that even mean, bro? Seer, you're a seer, so I can't do it because you're too kind and nice. Just headbutting. She wants it. Yeah, because Bell, like, literally 14 or something, right? Man, the fireworks popping off while we're in bed talking like this. Pass out? Are we holding hands? Belle, will you hold her hands? No. He hard committed. He actually hard rejected Seer there, bro. He was like, hmm, should I actually like hold her hand there? At least give her the hand. No. <laughs> no. I will save myself for eyes. Well, Belle successfully blue ball Seer. Feel bad for her. I bet she already left. Yep, she left. <laughs> The date's over, bro. Oh, she left that on the fucking table, man. This is her piece, right? Not our piece, right? Damn. We fucked this date up. I mean, but like, did we fuck it up? No, not really. It's just like, being forced to accept Sears' feelings is unreasonable. I don't think Belle did anything wrong here. But at the same time, for Seer, ooh, this is awkward. Now, how are we going to ever face her again? They're all doing community service. 
実は朝起きたらいなくなってたかだからもしかしたら酒場に戻って夕べはここに泊まり込みだったりはなかったそうお前どうするつもりだどうしよう聞く限りあの女がお前に好意を寄せているのは間違いない探してどうする Reject her again. <laughs> That's true. Bell should give her a definitive answer. This does not mean accepting her feelings in a fake way. It means that just deny her. Say no. I got some other girl. That's way better than leading her on. <laughs> Dem's full act. <laughs> I don't think that Dem's full act is an act. It's literally just built into Bell. <laughs> Ooh, wealth is right. Thank you, big girl. That much soundtrack is so good. Even just this background music just sent me a tone. Mamma mia, bro. <laughs> Look at that. What is she, level six? <laughs> I forget. Mamma mia, bro. Freya Familia no Kanshiga. Hotondo no Kunotter. Shirsan no Koto Tashkame Taikido. Oh, whoa, whoa, parkour, parkour. Oh, shit. The Tuni guy. Freya Familia no Dai Kubo Ragnar. That's right. He only speaks in Tuni. No, no, no. Kyora no Utagi. Banquet of Madness. <laughs> Wait. Are you perhaps eighth grader? You Chuni Bio, bro? What the hell are you saying? Banquet of Madness? Chuni Bio, this guy. Literally, literally. <laughs> are you perhaps the guy that got dubbed cringe infected? We're speaking with big words. Yes, indeed, yes. This guy. That's him. Blight. Cringe blight. <laughs> I feel bad. No one ever thought that you were dark and intriguing. Wow. The recovery there, bro. Instantly recovers. <laughs> Just like, oh! <laughs> wow. Alright, bro. Okay, this is pretty important, man. Everyone's trying to find Sir right now. Huh? Exchanging your farewell? What are, you, what are you talking about? It sounds like we're being dragged to just go into one direction or the other only. And we have no other say to it? What? Or, what, 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 what? That was the girl? And not the goddess who courted. The girl? Yeah, Seer. Yeah, okay, I know that, but what? 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 Stop speaking in riddles. <laughs> speaking regular Japanese. <laughs> He's pretty fucking funny. He, he literally was like, no, I, I'd, I'd rather not explain to you. I'm just going to literally backflip by. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> what a pathetic sight. Hestia, you gotta get your shit together. There's a goddess, bro. A whole ass goddess on the ground. Hermes, bro, you got all the fucking secrets. He really just hides all the secrets. So, why are you more worried about Sir than Bell right now? Huh. Sir is in danger? What's going on? Sir is just gone. <laughs> Who's taking more emotional damage right now? Hestia or Ryu? Ryu's voice right now? She sounds like she's been in the desert without any water. Amusing. <laughs> they spent the night alone together until morning? I don't believe it, dude. Ryu is still in just utter disbelief. Ryu, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they couldn't have fucked. They did not. They're not even married. They're supposed to make vows first. You can't be having sex like that. <laughs> Wake up, Ryu. Seer. There she is. Okay. Okay. She's fine. She's happy to see us. Something is off. Does this feel natural to you? After a night where we basically rejected everything she, she was throwing on. She leaves, clothes folded, and even the hairpin. She, she doesn't even have it on her hair anymore. Remember the, the fucking each matching thing that she put on her hair? She left it. And now she says, oh, I'm so happy to see you. This ain't Seer. This is not Seer. Or at least this is not the Seer that I know. Who are you? Yeah, you forgot this. Do you remember this? She does. Still feels weird. Something's weird. Hmm? Again, don't reject me, please. I... So it's like she has memories of what happened last night? Yeah, I guess she does. Is this really her though? We already rejected you. We reject her again. Do it. No. What the f Yo, Chuni! They were protecting. Were they not observing the date all that time? They would dare put Seer in danger like that? Head. There's. Hedon would never allow this shit. They treat Seer with such utter respect and he blows this shit up? It's gotta be someone else. This has to be someone entirely different. Who are you? Oh shit, that sword. What? He's so strong, man. KC staff is cooking. For Seer, why? Oh, Ryu! Girls! What the fuck is a transgressor? What, 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 what? Transgressor. A transgressor, according to the dictionary, is someone who has broken a particular rule or law or has done something that is generally considered unacceptable. Someone who transgresses, someone who violates a law or command. Seer has violated an order or command. What did she violate? I thought she was allowed to be going on a date. Is it the fact that she threw herself at Belle and tried to do something more than just a date? <laughs> Basically, no sex allowed and Freya got mad and now Seer's being hunted down? I have no clue. I'm thinking that this Seer girl is not even the same person. I thought that she's like totally different, but like something else is going on here. Also, I just realized these are the fucking quadruplets. <laughs> these are the tiny kids, right? It is. Versus the Freya family though, man. Yo, if the Kakarot maze can actually keep up with them, that's incredible. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are another one of her cherished ones. Another of her cherished. Who is her? Seer cherishes Ryu? That's it? <laughs> oh no, I thought this was gonna be just fan service for the titties. Maybe the her refers to Freya. But why would Freya care that much about Ryu? Do we know any relationship there? Probably not, right? Ooh. Damn, he's strong, bro. Holy shit. Looks pretty sick here. <laughs> yeah, the whole Chuni look with the victim abyss, like his whole like demon blade look, it, it looks pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie. Oh god, yeah, the cat girls can't keep up with Freya family. This is too much. Oh, we're getting serious today. These are not just regular injuries. Holy fuck. Yo? 
Yo, the little kid brothers is so good. Uh, one thing here. Maybe this is because of my, um, um, uh, my season one, uh, Lorm gone. But Vanna Alfie, who was she before and why is he calling this? Because she had a previous identity that is no longer being kept and now she's Anya. Is this season one content? Because I don't remember this in season two or three. This has to be season one content, right? Can someone refresh me? Who is Vanna Alfie? Who is that? Does anyone know? Man, you guys are literally on fucking mobile phones. Delay 30 seconds. You're still talking about the fucking scene when the other maids are down? This is new info? Oh, wait. This is some important info. Wait, 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 wait. This is crazy. Shit, hold up, hold up, hold up. Vana. Vana last name. Hold the fuck up. Yeah. What's Otaro's name? I forget. But this sounds kind of important, huh? This girl actually is... So another person's secret identity is important for the Freya family stuff. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> Big bro. Oh, shit. There is a secret. Another maid girl that has a secret that we didn't know? <laughs> I love the cat puns, big bro. You should talk in cat puns too. It'd probably make you a lot cuter. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> what? That's so mean. The more fucked up thing is that she can't speak normal. <laughs> it's, it's literally like the cat puns is supposed to literally just give this new persona to Anya. She's speaking normal. <laughs> it's fucked up and funny at the same time. <laughs> Big bro ain't fucking around. Oh man, dude, this is so messed up. Not my cat girls, man. Not my tavern girls, man. But who knows exactly why they separated? Why she's taken on a new complete name? He probably hates her because she ran away from the Vana family, right? Probably something like that. Probably thinks that she's like a traitor or something, but her siblingship is terrible. All right, Ice and Hestia. <laughs> oh, goddamn, Hestia's buns here. Hey, here, right over here, guys. Turn around. One second. Here we go. Oh。That was kind of cool how they did the whole, you know, talk about ex what's going on while people are moving so we don't have to waste time, but I thought Freya allowed it. But it was one time only, and it's the next day. And since that, she's trying again. That's the bad thing? Something like that? I don't know, bro. Maybe. One chance. You're going to actually kill her now? Reject her. That's wrong, though. You would want him to fake it, even out of pity, to accept your feelings? You know that's wrong, though. This is not right. No. Bell's locked in. I mean, she did feel very off. It was not the same girl at all. But what the fuck is this? Who are you, really? I don't know! Who the fuck is she supposed to be? What are the theories that we had before? I thought that Freya low-key was Seer. I thought that Freya had like a different disguise as Seer. Have we ever seen Freya and Seer in the same room? Yes, we have. So now I can't really go with that, you know? Ah. <laughs> 
No, Flover. I didn't even know her last name. You're not her. Who are you? Oh. It was a trap. It was a bait. He didn't give her the real one to test. Oh, wait. This isn't my half. You made a mistake. Ah, tricky, tricky. Now, who are you? Oh, shit, the voice acting changed. Who is this, bro? And a quick death? You wanted to kill Bell? I mean, she did hold a knife behind. What is this? I thought she wants Bell's love, but at the same time, she wants to kill Bell. Maybe that's the thing. To kill Bell after stealing like a kiss so that no one else can have him. Who are you? Gamble? No, 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 you need to tell me who you are. No, 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 no. You can't just kick me out of here. Who the fuck are you? Basta. No, that's just who Bell is. No. Yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yes, we're out of here. That voice. Backstory time. Okay, okay, Freya, Freya, okay, okay. I want to become you. Freya was talking to some orphan girl, but this orphan girl isn't Seer, though. It's the imposter girl? But it's Seer, though. Is it possible that this could be still imposter Seer? I don't know, but okay, let's just go with this is the real seer. Give me your name? I give you a name? You give me a name? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so fucking confused that this frame out of fucking nowhere. She was too busy doing a flashback in her head. She's like, wait, hold on, let me finish my flashback. But, um, imposter seer, Freya. Real seer? How could imposter seer be having a flashback of someone who she's not? Maybe they're the same person? I don't fucking know, bro, but we gave her her name and Freya gave us a name. Boom. Horn. <laughs> Nameless? Nameless. It's a super pissed off girl we saw in the intro. Horn? is the nickname of the nameless girl. Shh. That's her? That's her. 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 Okay, she really just wanted to murder Belle. That's it. Like, her goal was to kill Belle because, obviously, she loves Freya so much and Freya wants Belle. So that's what's going on. But what I'm interested in is how Horn's flashback, she was Seer before. How does that make any sense? She had no line. Sorry, she had no name before. Or at least the, or the lore drop for her, right? Before in episode one or something, it was like, oh yeah, that's her name is Horn, but she's actually nameless. She has no name. She's really like a very close assistant to Freya. It's very rare. But she was Seer as a child. And that name was given to Freya. And Freya took Seer away. And then Freya gave Seer to someone else, which is the real Seer. You know what I'm talking about? Taking the name from her and giving it to the real Seer? Just Loki, yeah. What else is it? Are you doing this for someone else? Are you doing this for Freya? Who told you to kill Belle like this? I can become one with her. Our psyches overlap with each other. And when you say I can become one, are you becoming one with Freya or are you becoming one with Seer? There's, there's a little bit some, so something ambiguous. I'm, intuitively, I'm thinking Freya because they've exchanged names at the same time because she can transform to Seer. I don't know, maybe it's Seer. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ready? This is what's happening right now for me. 
I'm cooked. It's impossible for you to understand. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of following the plot, right? I get it. You used to be Seer, exchanged names, right? I get that part. But like, beyond that, <laughs> I don't know. It's all messed up. That's self-satisfaction, though. You're doing this for yourself. You're literally upset that your favorite VTuber or your favorite creator is collabing with another dude and you're like, no, no, my queen shall be mine. I will be her. I'll kill off all the guys. Letting her sink to the levels of some generic girl defies all reason. And why would Freya sink to the level of some generic girl simply by associating with Belle? Is that that simple? Because she's a goddess and Belle is, quote unquote, not special, right? In the eyes of the public, therefore Freya would then be sinking. Or are we talking about Seer right now? <laughs> Levels of a generic girl? Are we talking about Seer? No, it's got to be Freya, right? It's about Freya's like, Freya would fall off if she was fucking a human. Is that what she's saying? <laughs> This is crazy, man. Hayden. All right, Hayden's been looking out for the real seer all this time. Hey. This sounds more right. She has her own piece. <laughs> Ending's playing. Are you in love? You feel smug right now? A slow burn romance. She literally jumped on Belle on the first date. They're lit she literally tried to fuck on first date and now like, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, slow burn romance for me. Okay. What is it? Be gone, woman. My heart is for eyes. Wallen, Fallen, whatever her name it is. You gotta reject her. Listen to wealth. Do not lead her on. You gotta cut it off right now. You have to do it. <laughs> That's right, we have to have our own ReZero episode 15 moments. I love ice. We gotta hit her with that line, bro. It's raining. <laughs> and then you hit him with, I love Belle. I love Emily. <clears throat> Wrong anime, ice. Dude, you could not time this shit better. It's raining. The rains are literally falling as she confesses and as a rejection is about to happen. Oh my god, this is picture fucking perfect. Dude. End her. That'll be so hard. Yeah, and imagine how Hestia feels, Bill. <laughs> imagine how Hestia feels, Bill. You've been leading her on since season fucking one. It's been nice. Years, motherfucker. Same with Lily, Haruhime, maybe even Vine. Ice is a little bit too dumb to understand what might be happening. Ryu, no, nah, Ryu, I think Bell kind of was like trying to offer that, but Ryu ran away from that. Oh, can't even tell if she's crying or not, bro. The rain. We didn't get to see the whole rejection, but he said, I'm sorry. And now she's just walking barefoot back home, bro. Rain, this is just depressing. This is sad as If Ryu saw this, how would she feel? Huh? If Ryu was secretly watching this, how would she feel about this? I'm not sure. And you know what's even more fucked up, actually? All the cat, all the maid girls, they wasted their life they didn't die but they literally try to protect who they thought was seer but it was horn instead they all pretty much just got massacred bro for no fucking reason oh my god but i, I think the importance of that scene was more to do with 
Anya's actual like association with their big bro, right? That seems to be a very important like lore. Oh boy. Stop, 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 stop. Before you transform. Are, are you Seer? You were never Seer. But I've seen Seer and Freya in the same room together. How could this fucking be? How? How? Was there ever Seer? Does Seer ever fucking exist, bro? But I've seen Seer and... Because that Seer was Horn. That Seer was always Horn? In the, in, the, in the episode where Freya and Seer were having like a conversation, was that actually Horn? I was saying, all right. But no, no, no. So you're, so you're telling me that Seer has always been Horn or Freya? Because they exchanged the names. I know that part. But the act, and, and, and Horn obviously remembered all the details of the night. That's why she, she was a little off with that piece, but she knew pretty much everything. So the entire date was with Horn. And now Freya can turn into Seer. And Seer was basically just waiting there. And who was working at the tavern? Who the fuck was working at the tavern? You cannot tell me Freya is working in the tavern. There's no, it's Horn, right? Has Horn always been working at the fucking tavern? It was a Freya? Was the entire day was Freya? I am so confused. Okay, okay. Well, let's assume that like the entire day was with Freya. How about that time when we literally saw Freya on the stand? We saw Freya in Freya form. But Horn can change into Freya? Because they switched names. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was Horn on the stand. That was Horn. Okay, so Horn can also turn. Okay, 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 okay. Things, things are making more sense. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but like, okay, what, what, what about the tavern girl though? What about the tavern girl? Who is that? Who is working this fucking job? <laughs> At the tavern, making the bento. Was that Horn or Freya? <laughs> Who, who is it? <laughs> was it Freya working at the tavern? The end? <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so funny. Just, just imagine this god is working in the part time. <laughs> Okay, is the episode over? Yeah. Okay, that's today's episode. <laughs> she literally flipped him burger. <laughs> this shouldn't be this funny to me. <laughs> but I was just thinking. <laughs> this shit for real was... Oh, 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 fuck. This is a peak fucking episode. <laughs> Honestly, all the laughter just coming from me imagining this goddess that's so imposing, so like omniscient, omnipotent, just working a night to fight. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she works so fucking hard. It's nine years, bro. Nine years, five seasons of investing into the fucking tavern. <laughs> and Sierra's like, "All right, fuck it, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I quit. Who's gonna, who's gonna work at the tavern now? Nobody. They lost the fucking. They lost the. Maybe she'll send Horn over there. I don't fucking. Well, that's the episode. Bray spent the entirety of Don Machi. Working a 9 to 5 to try to get to Bell. And <laughs> Bell rejected her. And Freya's like, yep, Seer is dead to me now. Fuck this shit. I'm tired of shit. I'm done. <laughs> it shouldn't be that funny. Maybe it's because I'm sleep deprived and we're at the, you know, pretty much like almost at the end of the stream. So like, 
uh, uh, during the, usually the last couple of reactions gets kind of delirious because my brain is like <laughs> so everything is funny to me. <laughs> this this platonist is fucking amazing. <laughs> it shouldn't be this funny. I don't even know. I'm just laughing because I'm laughing at this point. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like you keep laughing, you, you just continue to laugh even more, and you don't even know why you're fucking laughing. All right, so let's gather everything. Okay. <laughs> The entire day was with Freya. When we saw Freya on the stand, when we were on ground level with quote unquote Seer, who is Freya, that was Horn. Horn and Freya can interchangeably change because they've exchanged names. I'm not sure if Horn will get executed here. Maybe Freya is really upset at Horn for kind of pulling this shit. But uh, Bell is the most important to Freya, so maybe Horn is gonna have some repercussions. What's gonna happen at Mamma Mia's Tavern? I have no clue, and I feel really bad for these girls because they were trying to protect Horn. <laughs> they didn't think they the Seer never fucking existed, right? Like they're like, oh no, you know, Seer, we're gonna protect you. But I think the point of this was this scene, right? between big bro and little sis anya is very important just fucking out of nowhere boom vana family name dropped um this backstory right it kind of explains exactly what's going on with horn and you know well she was i mean she was the og seer horn was literally og seer until freya kind of was like took that name and exchanged it for a different name now she's horn slash nameless but she can just take on different forms and what a mind fuck of a fucking episode it was. Fantastic episode. Brilliant. Like, just... This is definitely... Well, yeah, this is the best episode of Damachi so far in Season 5. Like, this is fucking amazing. I'm just worried about how Mamma Mia is going to be feeling because they've lost one extra worker. But <laughs> just again, just just this, this image of this fucking goddess, Freya of all people. And it's not even any random goddess, okay? If this was Hestia, the goddess, working there then i'd be like all right it, it's kind of funny hestia is kind of quirky and silly right she's a bit of a doofus i could see her definitely working there she sucked but like freya <laughs> of all people freya was working in the tavern that shit fucking kills me and yes that also explains why freya uh shows like favor and importance to ryu that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content until next time Take care.